Late again, Mr. Jarvis. I think you mean Dr. Jarvis. I don't know what backdoor alley university ever gave you a degree, but to me you'll be nothing but a waste of time. And you're affecting your assistant. I've seen you and Dr. Russell sneaking and talking and whispering in corners. Don't bring her down with you. You're a petty man, Sands. I'm just glad I report to the board and not you. My work is vital to this company, and no one, not even you, will get in my way. Hello? Excuse me? Putting it bluntly, John, board aren't happy. I don't understand. We've done everything asked of us. It's not about you, Scott. Well, then it is about me. The bottom line stops with me, so if they're not performing, it's down to me. You can fall on your sword if you want to, but it is your staff at the end of the day. It's your staff that are late with their reports. It's your staff that keep the office like a pigsty. It's your staff that are constantly on the phone instead of doing their job. It's got to stop. They wouldn't close down Lab 19, would they? Not Lab 19, obviously, but the admin section? That can be done anywhere. Oi, you! Yeah, you! What are you doing down there? Where's your badge? Look, I'm sorry, look, I'm new. I'm just looking for Mrs. Cross. I, I, look, I'm sorry. Hold on. I, stay there one second. All right. It's all right. I'll show you where you're meant to be. There's two things you've got to learn about this place. There's eyes and ears everywhere. And two, unless you're grade seven and working in a lab 23, keep the hell away from that room down there, okay? See what I can do. I'll give you a call, alright? Okay. That's the best I can do for now. No. Well, I don't know what you lot are looking at. Come on, back to work. <laughs> Me?
you must understand, I need your forgiveness. What for? For this. You stop looking at that watch, you'll be here. Seriously, you're doing my head in now. Are you always this quiet? Who brings a jack to a fucking black site anyway? 
someone who's clearly made better life choices than you. Took it almost nearly to coming to an end. If you crawled out your office to get here and you've driven, don't you know there's a ban on vehicles in the area? Of course I do, Rogers. I came up with the order. Oh, I see. One rule for the management, another for the puff soldiers. Oh, eh? spare me the working class bullshit. You know the order was to prevent the spread of the outbreak. So why are you here? To deliver him to you and this. It's been three days since the outbreak. Luckily this fuck up has been localised. Most of the residents have left the area. We told the local council that an animal got loose and it's been infected with an experimental vaccine. But that cover story won't last. An angel fourth stock won't survive another publicity disaster like Mexico City. So the plan is changing it? Your orders are simple. Find the laboratory this came from, shut it down and bring the data here. And survivors? What was that look about? There are no survivors. Oh fuck! Shit, they must have heard the gunfire. No, 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 no guns. From now on, knives only, yeah?
Can I help you? Um, I'm sorry about before, but um, I don't think that you should be here. Jeez, you scientists are all the same. Brains the size of planets, but no people skills. You know, this is the first safe place I've found. Let me guess, you've been stuck in here since it began? Yes. Lucky you. It's falling apart out there. This, whatever it is, it's spreading fast. Well, I don't mean to be rude, but I've got to get back to work. Work? What do you have to get back to that's so important? Well, well I've, I found something next door. And? Well, I think it's a cure. You have a cure? Have you tried it out yet? No, well, I, I said I think it whoa, might whoa. be one. Wait, if you have a cure... Oh my God. You're probably the son of a bitch that let this loose in the first place. It's not my fault. I'm only trying to help. Then why aren't you out there doing that? Well, I don't know which one it is. So you just come up with a cure, then you forget which syringe you put it in. Well, I didn't come up with a cure. Then who did? I'll have to show you. He did. Oh, perfect. So, you have a cure, or at least maybe one. Well, I think so. But the only way to be sure it works is to inject someone. Well, I suppose so. Right. We need to get some test subjects. Test subjects? If we can cure even one person, it's a start, and it would mean less of them to deal with. Well, I don't really think they mean us any harm. They just seem a bit different now. Different? I've seen what they're capable of, and these things are killers. Clear? So, they're not zombies? No. But these things are eating people? Look, zombies, who are not real by the way, in the movies, eat people's brains. But these poor fuckers have been infected with some kind of a virus that's dulled their senses, with the exception of the sense of smell. And they can smell us from miles away. Now to protect themselves, they're killing anything they come across. Which smells odd to them. So they're not zombies? Jesus, for the last time, no. But these things are eating bits of people. Well, maybe they're hungry. I mean, you don't see a KFC around here, do you? And it would be a waste to uh, not eat what you kill. And so far, I haven't seen one eating anyone's brains. Wait, you, you can't go there. You haven't got a badge. Well, I'm sure today they'll make an exception. So were you ever gonna show me this place? Well, this is for the executives. No, we shouldn't be here. <laughs> what, because I don't deserve to be here? Because I don't belong. No, no, I didn't mean, didn't mean it like that. Well, the executives are dead. So now you're going to show me what this place is all about.
Well, it's uh, been a while since I last had a movie night. Oh, we, we watch all our health and safety videos in here. We've never had an accident until, until now. <laughs> no shit. Why do you have a bed in here anyway? Well, Gary Simmons sometimes sleeps here. But don't tell anyone, he's not supposed to. I won't. Oh, it's clean. I always use a 60 degree cycle and an extra spin. Thanks. Well, um, night. Night. Now, there are two ways we can do this. Firstly, we go outside and grab one, or we let one in. Well, I really don't think that any of this is necessary. We're trapped in here, and we're surrounded by them. We need to see if this stuff actually works, because God knows how long it'll be before we're rescued. If. No. I think the best way is to let one in and eject it. I know it's risky, but I think between the two of us we can handle it. Well, why don't I just talk to some of these people? I do know them, you know. Remember, all you need to do is hide in there. As soon as one of them starts running towards you, lock yourself into the office. Then whilst it's trying to get in, I'll lock it to the ground. I don't think any of this is necessary. Can you see any? I can see Gary. Gary's coming. just happened. It just wasn't very well.
cleaner. Well, I think the correct term is maintenance technician. Are you trying to be clever? No. I just think it's important to be accurate, that's all. Holy shit, you could have got us both killed back there. Why didn't you say anything? I mean, does this stuff actually work? Yes, I've seen it work. Then why? What is... What are you doing in a lab coat? Well, my overalls were dirty. <sighs> Jesus. When were you going to say something? Well, I was, but it just didn't seem right. Can we talk about this later? What? What are you doing? What is this? Where, where are you going? I'm going to change now. Yeah. HQ's confirmed. The virus has reached the containment blockade. Oh, fuck. What about the other teams? Looks like it's just us. The other teams have either been overgrown or returned to base. Shall I call for an extraction team? No, no. We've come this far. We didn't retreat in Afghan, we're not retreating now. How many labs you got left? Just one, 19. Ten clicks north. Good. Let's go. So how do you know this stuff actually works, and the truth, this time? Everything I've said's been true. For all we know, this could just be a placebo. He injected me. Say that again? He injected me here. Why? Why would he inject you? Why'd you ask like that? You're saying I'm not important enough to be given a cure? I didn't mean it like that. I just mean why you were not a monkey or a rat. Wait, do you have them here? Well, everything happened so fast, I maybe just didn't have any time. And the monkeys? Well, they're in Lab 23. All we have is computers here. And a laundry. So you got injected and that somehow made you invisible to those things? Yes. Do you think it would work on me? Well, it might, but it might do bad things as well. So, if you knew they couldn't hurt you, why haven't you left? Well, the bus didn't come. It comes every day at half past five. I've got a pass. Okay, so the doc injected you with a syringe from a batch you found in his lab. Yes. But we don't know if any of the others will actually work. In fact, you may have been injected with the only syringe that had the actual vaccine. Yes. Well, we either keep trying them on the people out there, or... Or what? Well, your blood's now swimming with antibodies. We need to get you to someone who can take a sample and produce an actual vaccine. You mean like a guinea pig? Like in the monkeys in Lab 23? I used to work there. I've seen what they do to the monkeys in Lab 23. Okay, then. We stay. But I can't go out there. So it'll be up to you to inject them. And besides, how are we doing on food and water? We've got two days and 45 minutes left. Right then, well, you're going to have to go and get us some more supplies. You mean I've got to go shopping?
What makes that box so important? Well, I put some personal possessions in there. So it's not the box itself? No. I've just put things in there. They, they might want them back when they're well again. And besides, a tidy office is a tidy mind. <laughs> Oi, you cheeky bastard. Now remember, just because they can't harm you doesn't mean that there aren't other animals or other survivors out there that won't. Have you got the map and list? Oh, and hobnobs. Grab as many as you can. Sure, it's recording. Good. This needs to be documented. People need to know the truth. Okay, let's start. Now, please understand one thing. This really is the only way. The experiment you're about to witness will finally convince the Board of Angels Forth, the government, and even other heads of state that we can save humanity before it's too late. I know my methods may seem unorthodox, but once we have separated the masses, the higher classes will finally be free to save this world from its greed. We cannot keep adding more and more people to the population and expect to feed and clothe and house them. We need a moment to pause, perhaps even to reset society. Meanwhile, the rest of the survivors can work blissfully happy in the knowledge they are serving people whose only goal is to make their lives better and maybe in time we will allow them to breed again oh, with strict controls of course now now this this is the, the promised land a cure if you will now we are yet to fully try this on humans but that ends today now after weeks of working through employee records and running blood work on the staff, I have isolated three suitable candidates. I would have thought that management or members of the board would have been uh, suitable uh, due to their genes and DNA. I could hardly believe it that one of them is a security guard and another a cleaner. <laughs> now, I was hoping to have conducted further tests on staff in nearby labs. But I've been forced to move my timetable forward due to my supervisor, Dr. Sands. He suspects something, and I cannot have him ruining my life's work. To the testing. Unfortunately, the only way is to randomly inject the subjects with different batches. I only hope my colleagues at Lab 23 have followed my instructions to the letter. <sighs> After the results, we will be able to synthesize for the next testing ground on the general public. 
Okay, let's pause the and pick this up again after the first subject has been injected. Ah, I was hoping to see the two of you, so I didn't have to waste time by saying the same thing twice. Simon, the board wants to see you now. And I'd like to see Dr. Russell as soon as she's available. You stupid fool, Sands. You can't split us up now. We're so close. This is all your doing, Simon. Never forget that. Perhaps I'll have time to be able to change his mind. Jump on. Oh, no, no, thank you. I'm not very hungry. Can I ask you a question? Are you gay? What? No, it doesn't matter if you are, but I'm only asking because we're the only ones here and you haven't tried to. Well, well you know. Oh, uh, uh, well, I wouldn't ever invade your per private space. Am I that ugly? Well, well, you're not very ugly, you just aren't my type. Fair enough. I can accept that as a reason for now. Wait, how about now? No, you just look weird now. <laughs> oh man, you're too easy. <laughs> I think this bed is leaking. Can you come see if it's, if it's broke? Oh, no, that seems alright to me. Cheers. Um, are you from round here? Here? Yeah. No. <laughs> no, I do not know this area at all. In fact, before... Before I got here, um, we were driving. Um, we were driving. We crashed. We were running. I was running. And then it was just me. Who was we? Me. Um, my mum. Sorry, I shouldn't have asked. That's okay. Um, once this is all over, um, you know, I'm sure that we both have a lot of. Um, we'll see. Okay, so one injection per person. Any problems, call me. I can see Mr. Davis. Hello, Mr. Davis. Any luck? No, I, I don't think I can do this. Why? Well, well, what if we hurt them? Think of them not as adults, but as kids. Well, wouldn't that be child abuse? No. I mean, they're, they're new to this world. You need to 
guide them, you need to show them, you need to help them. Oh. Like a teacher. Do, do you feel any better, Mr. Davis? Mr. Davis? N no, he he just looks the same. Shame it didn't work. But we still have half a dozen more to try. So maybe tomorrow will be better. Oh, okay. Mate, no time to take a break. Just give me five. You've got two. So, if we come across any survivors, how do we know if they're infected or not? It's in their eyes. In their eyes? Yeah. Infected people, well, they look quite normal. But their irises, they start to change colour. And so far <laughs> I've come across red, I've come across black. The black ones, well, they're... They're docile and sheep-like, but it's the red ones you've got to watch out for. Now, if you come across one of them, you put a bullet in here. No second chances. Can't you make them stop? Who? <laughs> what do you mean? Can't you hear them? Day and night, they won't leave me alone. Who won't? Please, just go and check. What makes us think that somebody's got in? Let's go. Jesus, what the f What are you doing? Well, I've had a look around, but I can't see anybody in the building. Okay, thanks. You? <coughs> oh, mate. I'm so sorry, buddy. I'm 
There's no second chances. <coughs> You're quiet tonight. What? I said you're quiet tonight. Do we have the right to reject all those people? The right? No. You've lost me. Well, I followed some today. They seemed quite happy the way they were. These people were changed by some mad scientist. I found a video of them talking about helping mankind and correcting all of its mistakes. I mean, Jesus. They wanted to play God, so yes. Yes, we have the right to try and help these poor souls. Well, what if we can't? At least they've got some kind of life the way they are. Life? That is no life. I'll just shut up then, shall I? Sorry. What? Do we just stop trying? No, I'm just saying we should respect them, that's all. Oh, like, oh yeah, how about we get them to fill in some sort of questionnaire, or, you know what, maybe get them, um... You know, one of those consent forms, you know, get them to sign and all that. Well, when people came here, they had to sign consent forms. Even better. Consent forms, yeah. Yeah, how about we just get some numbers and hang them around it? Wait, yeah. Yeah, we should. We could hang numbers around their necks once they've been injected. Well, we'd have to log the results as well. Yeah. Okay, I think they'd be happy with that. Right then, get to work. Wait, hang on, you forgot this. Well, well, I'm not a scientist. Well, today you are.
This is very important. I repeat, one survivor, over. Have you received the package, over. That's a negative, over. Code 5, code 5, I repeat, it's the code 5, 1800. See if you can reach him, see Hello. if you can reach him. Hello, is, is there anybody there? At least we're not the only ones alive. Oh, long should I wait before changing channels? William sounds a chat type, so try five seconds a channel. Okay. Right, I'll start from the top and you work from the bottom, okay? Go. and switch to a secure channel. Space. That's not allowed. <gasps> Wait, are you just gonna wait until I've passed out? Why? Oh my god, you just hugged me. You invaded my personal space. <laughs> Who cares what you feel because you're a freak! <laughs> I'm sorry about last night, but I don't like people touching me. You're sorry? You? You have nothing to be sorry about. Is someone in the new wing? Shit. Better. No, I'll do the steps, sunshine. No. 
Are there any more of you? No, just the two of us. Look, we have food, water, supplies, biscuits. Just take what you want. look one. like I've just shot your way through the countryside for a fucking biscuit. We've all had to do crazy shit to survive this. Would you like a cup of tea? Enough of this bullshit. Do any of you two actually work here? I do. Ah, finally it speaks. I know you. Yeah, I've seen you playing with these poor fuckers. Yeah, prodding and poking them and putting numbers on them. What kind of sick people do that? Oh, you don't understand. We're just trying to help. Is this some kind of sick game show you're running? I bet you watch this footage back, don't you? Laughing at these poor fuckers. Eating popcorn on the sofa. Ugh. You don't understand. I've been injected too. We are trying to help. By putting numbers around the necks, injecting them with God knows what, watching them fall over. How's that helping? Please, we can't. Now, where's the real scientists? <gasps> they're, they're all dead. So all this effort, all this death for what? Nothing? Just go then. What do you say? Just go away, leave us alone. You know for a retard. You've got a set of balls on you, lad. Get it. Get it. I know people like you. You love inflicting pain. You know nothing about me. There must be something in their files, discs, anything, man. Think! You know your girl there? She's one tough bitch. Now, if you help me, maybe we can go back and check on her. No, have it your own way. I just want research. Now I was quite prepared to let you two to stay here. And you, you said you were injected. Now I know a couple of people back at the lab would like to take a little look at you. And it's up to you how many bits I take you back in. Damn it, I was trying to avoid more pain here. No, you weren't. What? No, you weren't. I saw everything about you. She was my friend. You hurt her. Well, how about I kick your ass then, just to even things up? If, if I come with you, will you leave her alone? No, but I can still drag you back. And, and the others, just leave them alone. Have you lost your head? They're not people. They're mistakes. Well, I said I was a mistake. I'm the only one that's safe now. Well, you're not safe from me, are you? I'm safe from them. 